Welcome back to Let's Play Einlanser. Last time... <sighs> this time... We're in Alabaster. Some... Alright. Paladin Sanctuary to the east. You'd come talk to me. Why is that? Because you're gorgeous? Thank you. It's because of my amazing jewelry. No, you have a raving interview. Hush, Finn. Why do you have so much new pretty jewelry, young lady? Because my daddy's rich now. Why is your daddy rich all of a sudden? I think they got lots of money from the King of Vidari. Uh-oh. How did your father get money from the King of Vidari, dear? I think the king sold some of the mithril from the mine and gave us the gold from it. Thank you, young lady. Hmm, should I buy the red one or the green one? They're both so pretty. Maybe I'll just buy both. Welcome to my wondrous warehouse of whimsical wares. Let's see. Buy a blue pendant and a black pendant. Um. Oh, we have both ice and water. Alright, buy one of each of the new elemental bracers. Hey, some gold. We've worked that mithril mine all my life. I tell you, that king is no good. He sold all the mithril in no time at all. The next generation will starve. Hm. Hey, folks, isn't life good? Um, yes, I guess. What news can you give us about the town? Oh, well, we're more rich than ever. Everyone in town could buy whatever they want and have enough food for their entire lives. Why is everyone suddenly so rich? The king of Adari took over management of the mithril mines and has made us all a fortune. Uh-oh, looks like we might be too late here. It seems like you're right. Oh man, I think this will be harder than we th first thought. Don't they realize that the gold they were given was just to buy their trust while the king sold their most precious asset from I'm sorry. <laughs> no. That's called... I sold your stuff, so here's your money. I think we should go to Town Hall. Maybe we can call a meeting and convince them. It's worth a shot. I think it's that bu big building on the west side of town. You are achievements? Oh. You are the battle counter. A couple centuries ago, this land was controlled by an evil king. His fortress can still be seen crumbling east of here on the top of some mesas. I wonder if there's anyone or anything or anyone there now. You guys, I found a hyper potion. Blech. I mean, hyper potion isn't bad. So you sell up to mithril, I assume? Yeah. So let's give... Let's see, is Borm using a claw at all? Yes. So let's buy a Mithril Claw. And a Mithril Staff for Alice. That'll bump up her magic attack and magic defense a bit. <clears throat> and that'll bump up your attack a bit. Not as much as I'd really hoped there. Sell the tempered steel and steel. And the dagger. good. Um, let me double check that my armor is fine. Uh, yeah, you can take that little hit to agility. <clears throat> you 
Yeah, I was thinking maybe I'm just super undergeared, but no. Wow, Withel's so shiny. Wait, what? Oh, your rugs were imported. Okay, I was gonna say, no, your goods are not imported. Um, pick up a Mithril Helm for Galadin. Mithril Armor for Victor. Mithril Circuit for Circlet for Alice. Already in the enchanted robe. Salome is in a mage robe, so let's pick up an enchanted. Oh, mage is better than an enchanted. Whoops. Essentially spent nothing. Okay. Potion, we can use this. Ooh, magic water. I'm gonna tell the owner I said this, but this blue rug is so last month's fashion. You know, let's buy... 15 magic waters. Weren't tents a thousand a couple towns ago? Oh, what? What do you think about the blue rug? It's new, and I'm not sure about it yet. I think it might be a bit ugly. The painting is new, too, though, but I like it. Um... There is mention of the Paladin Sanctuary being to the east. So I think that is worth going and checking. Like, yeah, now Borm's doing like 400 damage without a buff. Because there's no... The reason I'm checking it is there's no... Outright stated side quest in this town. Which is weird. Maybe I should swap Siloam in for Alice. Since I'm not healing and battle lighting away. I should be using your MP first. Since you're not really going to be using it in combat that much. I mean, sure. During. Ooh. Statue. Oh, a Nixie. <laughs> so humans, I bet you can't catch me. Fine, you're fast, but are you strong? Oh, crap. Tricky Nixie. Uh, go ahead and provoke. Reckless. And wild and secretly stern. Ow. Black Pendant found. Lightning 2 burned. Oh, fast and strong. Maybe you're worthy of this holy relic I have hidden away. I like the sound of that. 
I only wish to protect these lands. If you speak the truth, we will make great use of your holy artifact for the benefit of your forest. Okay, but you have to keep up. Follow me. I guess we should follow her. Let me sure that I don't know. It's ancient dwarven. The forests are lands whose gift to dwarven kind. We can eat fruits from the branches, roots from the ground, and creatures from its shadows. Praise be to Lanzer. Something glittering in the base of the statue. Forest gem. Entangling forest skill. Strong magic attack, ground elemental, chance of immobile. Oh, that's Quake. Not too smart, humans. This is a trap. This Nixie is tricky. If only we had some way to know that. <laughs> um, I don't really have an AOE, so... Take that, Nixie. We've proven our valor. We'll use this holy relic for good if you choose to give it to us. Holy relic? Ha! You believe me? <sighs> You're getting on my nerves, Flappy. Aw, did I hurt your feelings? Come catch me and maybe I'll apologize. This isn't worth our time. I'm not so sure. Why would she mention a holy relic randomly when she first met us? Or met us? To get us to chase her like idiots? Let's keep following. She may actually have something very useful. According to legend, Nixies come from Kanan, a land full of powerful magic artifacts. Okay then, to the east. Keep up, humans. We've had enough of your games, Nixie. Give us the relic or don't, but don't stop toying with us. Okay, okay, no more messing around. I just want to introduce you to my pet. His name is Fluffy. I've got a bad feeling about this. Grizzly bears are an enemy type that we didn't see in, um... The recorded run of the mountain. They're awful. Um, they can rage, which I mean, it makes sense. Berserker comes from bear, but still. Come on. Proof Chakra on Galadin. Lightning 2 on the Grizzly Bear. That's enough, Nixie. We're sword bearers. We're sword to protect the world from evil. If you're not going to aid us, be gone. Sheesh, so serious. I'm just having some fun. I only want to help this world. If you truly have a powerful holy relic, we swear we will use it for good. Fine, no more tricks. Finally. Make your way back to where we first met by the Lancer Day statue. And it was all the way back there? What was the point of making us follow? Form, it's fine. Let it go for now. Yes, we'll meet you there, Nixie. Okay, humans, don't take all year. <sighs> Whether she actually gives us this item or not, can I fireball her out of the sky afterwards? Nixies are known for their trickery. If we actually do get this item, we should be glad she's helping us at all. Giant Grizzly wasn't helping us, Alice. Let's travel northwest back to the Lancer statue and hope for the best. If she doesn't pay up, I'm going to pluck those little wings right. Salom. Let's go. Salom is right, though.
Took you long enough. Sometimes us Nexus wonder how you even survive with just those stumpy legs and no wings. I'm gonna kill her. We've proven our valor, chased you over great distances, been patient, and been trusting. Do you have this relic or not? I do. I think you'll use it for good, which is something I find boring, but admirable. Sidem is a ribbon that has been directly blessed by the Sky God herself. It is a blessed holy relic with great power. Anyone who wears it will be protected from almost every status effect. Oh, it's a ribbon. This is a true treasure. I kept this log for many years. I kept it in this log for many years. Here. This blessed ribbon is yours, sword bearers. Us Nixies prefer playing tricks on people. We don't have the strength to stand up against evil. Use this for good, humans. We will, Nixie. Thank you. Okay, I've done my one good leak deed of my lifetime. Now I'm going to go play some tricks on some imps. Little tricks are made good on her word. I'm surprised. No wing ripping off necessary, Solo. This blessed ribbon sounds powerful. Let's equip it immediately and be on our way. So my immediate thought is, oh, well that should go on the healer, right? But I think it should actually go on our DPS. No, no, no. I'll actually, no, I'll hold on to it until you know I run into fights that have um you know heavy status ailments. gonna be the mithril mine right no reason to be here right now that's not even a good like plot reason hmm is this just a rock wall no it clearly isn't A ton of snakes here. Let's not, unless we have to. I love not having a run option. means it regenerates too much HP per turn. <sighs> this game is well balanced. spot not as you what was that thin you mumbled something Pfft, your imagination look treasure chests elixir life up hyper potion mana up decent stuff permanently useful stuff Okay, auto it down, please. Please subscribe to me. I want to have subscribers. Oh, 
Oh, he raged through the stun. Good videos game. Some of these enemy designs are real bad. <laughs> oh, goody. Instant death on regular attack enemies. I don't think we're going to be getting anything more out of exploration here, sadly. I mean, I did get a ribbon. Which, thinking on it, I was going to say, is really early in the game to get that, but not really. It's early to have multiple ribbons, but not to have just a ribbon. burned out house. Something tragic must have happened here. And Alice isn't yelling at me, hey, don't take the don't take the boxes. So I assume I'm allowed to. Headband of Fury. Tent. There's a recent campfire here. Does someone camp here often? Let's go heal at the inn. No, oh, right, it's never the person behind the counter. Okay, we're as geared up as we can get at this point. We're gonna get cast into that snake pit, by the way. in a town hall meeting in session right now. I only clean the place. That's fine, but could you tell us how to call a meeting? We have something extremely important to discuss with the townsfolk. All you have to do is let everyone know when the meeting will be and most will come. Okay, that's simple. Do you think you could take the time out of your busy work to put the word out that we'll have a meeting tomorrow morning? I think I could manage that. Thank you, ma'am. We really appreciate it. Let's go stay at the end until tomorrow.
All right, let's go see if people are gathering for the town hall meeting. Wow, a lot of people showed up. Yeah, they did. How are we gonna do this? Who's going to do the talking? Your leader, Victor. What, me? Yeah, I nominate Victor too. But I don't know how to talk to crowds. You'll be fine, just act like you're talking to us. Fine, I'll do my best. Excuse me, everyone, quiet down, please. Thank you. The floor is yours, Victor. Ahem. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. First, let me say you have a really beautiful town. We ask you here today because of an issue that's a great threat to your town and the entire world. The King of Adari is working with an evil man we know named Vize. Together they have a plan. Long live the King of Adari. We love the King. Don't say awful things about him. We know and have seen the King and his guards take place, take part in pillaging the town of Alm of all the food they had saved for the upcoming year. This man speaks lies. Who is this guy? Please listen, I do not tell lies. Our dear friend Salome here witnessed the King's very own royal guards destroy your hometown and everything in it. It, it is true. Quit lying. Who are you people, anyway? We're the sword bearers. We've traveled up. Yeah, right. The king has made us all rich. The king gave you a tiny fraction of what your mithril mine is worth. Your families have worked in that mine for generations. He's robbed Alabaster. Please, if anyone's robbing us, it's you robbing us of our time. The king is good. Go away, strangers. I'm leaving. You coming with me? Yeah, let's go. Wait, please. Man, that went badly. Don't worry about it. I don't think any of us could have done it better. Yeah, you did well, Victor. Thanks, guys. But what do we do now? We do just the right thing. We claim back what's the rightful property of these townsfolk, whether they want us to do it or not. You're saying we should go kick the guards out of the Mithril Mine? Yes, they might treat our words with more respect when we do. I agree. The mine is to the east of here. We'll need to pass the mountains to the southeast and turn back northwest. Well, let's go. How foolish of me to explore ten seconds in advance. Save because enemies have gotten real bullshit. Instant death and bears. That wasn't a summoning spell. So rate this mithril mine from the royal guard and give it back to the people of Alabaster. Mine cart is full of heavy raw mithril. Oh, someone set up a giant little fence. Probably the royal guards. These bars are really thick. I don't think there's any way up for us to break through them. Not even seeming like magic. I don't think we need to. Usually these mine tunnels are in a grid shape. We can probably walk around. Okay, then let's just walk around. Tent. Mimic. Poison cloud. was found. Oh, this is gonna be, like, very mildly irritating to get around. For all the chests. Life up. Go on. Murder me. Oh, nice counter. Hmm, Smith Roller is blocking the path. Let's try circling around the other way. 
Oh, I see. I can throw the switch for shortcuts. I don't think tarantulas are poisonous. I mean, I could be wrong, but I really don't think they are. Lana up. up. Mithril armor. Guard up, actually. Um, how is Mithril armor for you? I take a big hit with magic defense, but... Uh... <laughs> yeah, you're not really taking a lot of Lightning hits anyway? Mithril pointy hat, okay. should take it down. Unless it drains. Which is incredibly frustrating. That it... It's always like, enemies get to do actual draining. Where, unless it's very specific things like the Blood Spear in Final Fantasy IV, players' life drain abilities are rarely very good. Another elixir. Second gate switch. Oh, enemy ambush without any fanfare to explain such. Charging thrust and... Blizzard. Oh, he fled. Dang. I mean, that's better than him getting an instant kill, don't I? Get me wrong. Have Lisa's embrace learned. Seven turns, uh, Proshelga. Bump up Galadin speed or lower Salomes. Holy Smite 2 learned. 50 MP. Yeah, let's. Can't really reduce your agility. 
So it's, you're not really getting countered, so let's give you... Oh, um, who has boots of speed that I can... Yeah, let's take that off of you for now. Nah, that's still not enough. Could put Galadin back in the yellow dress. I guess that's what we're doing. Vile Bracelet, I assume that's dark damage. Something strange about that wall over there. Masterwork Claw. What happens if I... Okay, do I get a third attack if I do the nunchucks? Yes, you do. I can have you hitting like five times in a row. Which is good if we run into metal slime type foes. I mean, it's really not helping right now, but. Oops, I wanted skills. Rage Belt. Magically amplifies rage and aggression. Any RP gain, that's a 50% boost. Better stats. Yeah, let's go with that over the Odin Pendant. Uh, time Slip Cloak. That's not proccing enough. There we go. Doesn't seem to be a way around this gate. What do we do? <laughs> I have an idea. Should we be worried? Nah, well, maybe a little. This whole mine goes downhill toward this point, right? Well, what if we went back, made sure all the gates were open, then pushed that minecart all the way down? That thing was loaded up with mithril ore. It has to be ridiculously heavy. That's actually a good plan, Finn. Let's do it. Let's go back and make sure both of the gates are open, then push the minecart so it smashes against this gate. Alright. Not Lightning 2, that's not what I wanted. I wanted Spark, oh well. Lightning 2 might have actually been the best idea, after all. time on Let's Play Einlanzer. Hmm. Historically, it's been positively received when random 
essentially people from other lands come and quote liberate you right 